All right, so welcome back, friends. It's time for the video we've all been waiting for. So uh, if you're just joining us, uh, of course, uh, in the last a couple videos back, we put uh, I put this arbitrary all right came up came up with this arbitrary torture test uh, that I put the uh, cheapest Amazon scope on Amazon through, um, and well, we all know the outcome of that. So the question that came up um, that by hundreds of you guys was, well, why don't you put your Leupold through that. I mean, if you if, if, can the Leupold, what what good is the test if, if uh, it, even the great scopes uh, can't go through it? So that's what we're going to be doing today. So the test is going to be uh, consist of four things. So first off, uh, we froze the scope with liquid nitrogen. Then we dunked it into uh, some tepid water uh, on the end of a drywall or paint stir stick uh, for one minute, vigorously agitating uh, in the water bath. Uh, we pulled it out. It was a hard as I could and high as I could underhand toss um, into the grass and then followed up by the six foot drop on the diopter straight down onto a wooden platform. Then, of course, we'll put the, put the optic back on and see uh, if it will hold, hold zero. So uh, the, what we're going to be using today uh, is a brand new uh, Leupold Mark IV. This is a military grade uh, optic. As I, as I said, it's brand new. Uh, it is a 4.5 to 14, uh, I believe. And I think, you know, a lot of people had opinions on this and, and a lot of, without knowledge. And, and, I, and I, I don't have the knowledge, so I, I can't say, but I mean, a, a lot of you went out there on a limb and said there's no way any scope could ever survive that. And I don't know, maybe that's true, uh, maybe it's not, but um, if I was willing to fess up when I stepped over the ba over bounds and made a mistake, then uh, I hope that you would be willing to uh, be the bigger person, uh, and if you did make those comments, and if we do come through on top, um, to uh, make those retractions. We'll see, we'll see who's who. Bring out the honor uh, in the, er, in, in the, so we'll see who brings out the, seems who, we'll see who puts for, forward honor. All right, let's uh, shoot our three round group. Uh, I zeroed this yesterday. Should be, it was a quick and dirty, but it should be close enough. Um, we'll put three rounds at 100. We'll yank it off, we'll go through the test. We'll put it back on and we'll do three more. It'll be a total of six shots. So let's launch the drone. All right, you guys ready? Uh, so the tool we'll be using today, a lot of folks asked, I'll go over it very quickly, is a uh, based off of a Remington 700, uh, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor with a proof carbon barrel. Uh, Thunder Beast brake, jeweled trigger, Macmillan A3 uh, stock, Burris bipod, and Badger Ordnance is, I believe, bottom metal. Um, that pretty much sums it up. Okay, built by TNT Armament in Nebraska. If you want to build one of these up, you couldn't go with better people than that. Okay, three at 100. We'll do our best here. Okay. All right, with that done, so let's, uh, we'll uh, pull it off here and see what's what. I'm gonna leave the mounts on. Just, we'll do everything to the best of my recollection that we did with the, the $36 optic. We'll tighten these back up. Now, as I said yesterday, one deviation, I'm going to cover the lenses with some gaffer's tape. Um, for the very reason that if it were to happen to fall on a rock or something, I don't want it to, uh, I want it to, want it to scratch. All right, before we do our, our 30 second or 60 second bath, we're gonna freeze it with liquid nitrogen because scopes are used in the cold. We'll use the whole can on there. And somebody's gonna say, oh, the gaffer's tape's insulating it. Yeah, whatever. I'm getting it in there. 
whole can, turrets on the ends. Liquid nitrogen's cold. About half a can there. The belly ends. All right, that's it. Okay, 60 seconds. Three, two, one, mark. All right, that's it. That's a minute on the driller. So this is roughly where I was standing on the, with the Amazon, uh, where I tossed the Amazon scope, and you can see here, maybe, that's the, the Mark IV. And we, I did a, a big underhand, a big dark one, as hard as I could, into the grass. So let's do this. Three, two, one. Ooh, we landed right on the end. Here's where it lies. Okay, so it impacted right there on the front. I can see uh, where the dirt is, just like that. No rattles, that's a good start. Now we're gonna finish up with uh, what I think is probably the most brutal thing you can do to a scope, and that's going to be the end drop onto the diopter on a hard surface. Right there, you can see that's where it landed. I've got to make a clarification right there. So as I sat down to edit, for some reason the camera didn't turn on when I did this six foot drop. I did get the end of the impact where it made a dent in the step. So what I did is I went back after this video and I dropped it a second time just to show you that this is exactly uh, what I did. So I'm sorry I didn't get that. I don't know what happened. I, you know, it's probably the most important shot on the whole video. See right there, it hit so hard that it just put that ring in there. So far so good. So I'm really hoping this comes through. I, uh, Leupold is a, has been a great company. Uh, my, I got a lot of tradition, or a lot of history with my family. Uh, growing up in a big hunting family, granddad always shot Leupold. It was, man, the gold ring. The gold ring back in the day, that was, that was as good as it gets. It, when you, if you wanted the best, uh, and this had been like in the, in the 80s, you, you had a Weatherby Mark V and with a beautiful Monte Carlo wooden stock and that rosewood tip and a Leupold gold ring. And that was the creme de la creme. That was as good as it gets. Boy, things have changed. Everything has gotten, everything's gotten so extreme. I, when I was a kid, you, you could have a bike, you know, a bike was a bike, banana seat and all that. And now the they're so specialized there's there's time trial bikes and there's mountain bikes and then there's uh, who knows what it's just the same thing with everything everything's just gotten to such an extreme okay so i'm just cleaning cleaning off of the water a little bit so i can see now um also keep in mind these i, I these mounts are these are leupold i think they're mark twos these were never uh, i don't think anyone ever claimed that they were designed to hold a zero or to so what that means repeatable um, how I understand it some some of these rings uh, the manufacturer will say you can take your optic off and you can put it back on and it will be exactly where it was where you left it I don't know that that anyone ever claimed that these are those type of mounts so what we might see is we might see a grouping in a different spot and that's not because I won't I don't believe that's because of any deficiency in the optic just that when it was torqued down the specs you know and this is you know this is not the the most high speed super sophisticated um ten thousand um, dollar deal um but um if we get a consistent group even if it's a little shifted from uh our initial attempt uh that doesn't mean that that was that is, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong or that there's any sort of a failure. All right, torque, and we are, we're ready. All right, friends, it all comes down to this. Got my three shells in my pocket to keep them out of the sun. That one's a little hot and sitting right in the sun.
Okay, so I put up, as you see there, I put up a <clears throat> second target to the left so we can kind of get a comparison there. We'll put three shots on. That's one. Two. Oh man, I've tried to jerk that. And that's three. Let's go take a look. Well, that's that. Here we have it. So for all of the keyboard commandos that guaranteed that no scope could go through that abuse and remain, still be able to hold a zero, uh, this is the part where I get to say I told you so. <laughs> so so uh, yeah, so this is common for me right here. Yeah, not the best shooting. What I typically end up doing, at least is cons I'm consistent of nothing else, is I'll make my first shot and then I'll I'll, I'll forget my fundamentals and I'll rush it and I'll pull one and then I get aggravated at that and I remember to go back to the fundamentals and I'll oftentimes be able to shoot a lot better. And I think maybe that comes a, a, a lot from uh, not being um, raised with some really bad habits. Uh, when I was real young with rifles that were too big for me to put in my hands and overcoming you know, that childhood uh, um, panic, I guess, when it comes to the recoil. Um, that that just oh, I'm working out over time, so uh, that's pretty that's 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 pretty amazing. You know what? I, I was thinking as I was walking down here, how uh, how proud I am of Leupold to to be able to produce something like that, and especially knowing that that those optics are are winding up in the hands of our soldiers, um, that they could you know go into combat with something that can you know might get bumped on the on a edge of a Bradley or, or dropped or, or blown up or whatever. And, and of course, you know, my test is, it's not comprehensive by any means, but it wasn't, it was tough. Uh, no, no question about it. And I think a good portion of you um, didn't think that it would be possible. And, and I, and to be honest, I didn't know, uh, but we certainly know now. Here we have, after all of that, we have a, basically a, you know, one big hole right there. Um, and very consistent, and, and it, it, I, I have no doubt that it'd be better if it was put in the hands of, of someone that was a better shooter. But um, there you have it. That's uh, you guys ask for it. I told you I'd do it, and I did it. And I'm happy to see it came out on top. So where does that leave us with the the $36 the budget optic? Um, well, as I said in the previous video, you know I think that I left this target up here. And this is what we shot, you know, before I abused it. Um, these are these are the these are the the groupings that it that it held, um, and it and it did quite well uh, on a on the 6.5. So, um, is it worth 36 dollars? Well, of course, of course, of course it is. If you wanted something that you'd, I don't know. I'll I'll leave that up to you to decide. You know, so it it, it sometimes we don't always have the option to get what we want can't always get what you want, you get what you need, right? And if that's what you need, if you need an optic and you got $36, I think that'd be probably $36 reasonably spent. Don't forget to click the thumbs up, and thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.